so you watch football on TV, perhaps even live at the stadium, to try and enjoy the game, see glimpses of your idols and even learn a thing or two from them. Well, in this episode I'm going through 5 things that pro players do that you most likely don't notice on TV. These are things that improve performance and paint the bigger picture, as in order to play at your highest level for those 90 minutes, there's a lot of work and small details that the pros do better than anyone else. Number 1. Video Analysis To learn from your mistakes, you need to understand what went wrong in the first place. And putting that into football context, there's no better way of analyzing game situations than watching them back on tape. All the big clubs out there have dedicated staff only working on video analysis to help the coaching staff educate and improve the players. There's a reason even TV shows have people analyzing game footage. And just imagine how much you would improve watching back your matches just like the pro players do in their probably daily video sessions. Number 2 communication. Now, if you've ever played football for a team, you're probably familiar with the coach encouraging you to communicate with your teammates. Watch out! Turn! Left! Right! These are some of the simple basic ways of trying to help your fellow players know what's going on on the pitch. And if this is something you haven't thought about before, even at the highest level, the pro players absolutely communicate with each other on the pitch. It helps them organize the defensive line, warn players about opponents nearby, and although it might be difficult to catch on TV, trust me, they're screaming their lungs out. Number 3. Rest and Recovery As much as we would love to follow every single moment of our favorite players' lives, unfortunately we don't really get to see what they do or how much time they actually spend on rest and recovery. But that doesn't mean it's not happening. To stay in top form, being able to recover during hectic weeks filled with training sessions and matches is absolutely critical. And I can assure you, as much as the elite players spend time at the training ground, they're just as focused on getting enough rest. Number 4. They also struggle with insecurity. One of the biggest challenges especially young players face is being confident in game situations. As an example, if you don't believe in yourself, it's impossible to perform at your maximum level. And while the elite players, generally speaking, look prepared and focused, I can guarantee you some of them from time to time have difficult days or anxiety before big or small matches. The TV doesn't show you their nervousness the night before or on the way to the stadium. And hopefully this point gives you belief that it's okay to have tough days. However, the difference comes from how you deal with those difficult moments. And lastly, number 5. They work harder than all of you combined. What you see on TV is a result of lifelong commitment and thousands of hours of hard work. The competition in modern football is insanely high and getting noticed and making it to the pro level is harder than ever before. So for the pros to make sure that they stay above the competition, they eat, they sleep and they breathe football and simply put in tons of hours of high quality training every single day. And by the way, they've been doing that for a lifetime. The TV only shows you the end results, but never underestimate what goes on behind closed doors. And that's it for the 5 things I thought about. Obviously, there's a whole lot more. And I would love to hear in the comments below what's the biggest thing you have learned about the lifestyle of elite players that you try to adapt into your life. Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you're new around, hit the subscribe button for more awesome videos like this one and learn awesome skills by checking out the playlist on the bottom left corner of your screen. That's it for today. I'm out.